Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. For this video I thought I'd take a look at something a bit different. Having looked through so many images of ancient Egypt, you sometimes note specific things of interest, including things that make you laugh. And three Egyptian gods in particular look as strange as they do hilarious. Surely the artists of ancient Egypt had a sense of humour. It really is the only explanation. Anyway, let's take a closer look at these deities. First there is Medjed, the most bizarre and funny looking out of all the Egyptian gods. He looks like a modern child's drawing of a ghost, and wouldn't be out of place on an episode of Scooby Doo, with a bedsheet over his head with two eye holes to look out from. You cannot escape me. Medjed is mentioned in the Book of the Dead and is seen as a ghost like portrayal in illustrations on the Greenfield Papyrus. Spell 17 of the Book of the Dead does mention the obscure god Medjed, meaning the smiter, in the following line. I know the name of that smiter among them, who belongs to the house of Osiris, who shoots with his eye, yet is unseen. A New Kingdom papyrus known as the Theban Recension of the Book of the Dead was translated by E. A. Wallace Budge as follows. I know the being Medjed, who is among them in the house of Osiris shooting rays of light from his eye, but who himself is unseen. He goeth about heaven robed in the flame of his mouth, commanding happy, but remaining himself unseen. According to John Taylor of the British Museum, nothing else is known about Medjed, yet this god certainly has a legacy, especially in Japan. He is a low level god by all accounts, and although he belongs to the house of Osiris, he's certainly not as important in the Egyptian pantheon. If ancient Egyptian mythology was a movie, Medjed would be that character with one cool scene that everyone remembers, when a god dressed as a ghost would appear shooting rays like beams from his eyes. The Greenfield Papyrus showing Medjed was exhibited at the Mori Art Museum in Tokyo, as well as the Fukuoka Museum of Art in 2012. And because of his bizarre appearance, Medjed became somewhat of an overnight celebrity, simply because of how he looks. He became an internet meme, a video game character, and featured in some well-known anime. He also looks like he inspired the characters in the popular video game Among Us. Today you can go to Japan and pick up a Medjed pastry, a keychain, toys and so on. Medjed is now very much part of Japanese popular culture in the modern era. An incredible, hilarious and bizarre twist of fate for this little known and long forgotten god of ancient Egypt. Some internet memes show Medjed with a baby, some give him a tie like he's going to work, whilst others try to make him look menacing. Yet, in my opinion, such a depiction fails miserably. I don't want to sound disrespectful to the ancient Egyptians, but it's like the artist ran out of ideas. But there are also other hilarious Egyptian god portrayals as well, which I did find to be welcome light relief for such a serious subject. For example, look at this 21st Dynasty portrayal of the scarab-headed god Kepri. They've replaced his head with a scarab beetle, and yes, we've all seen this many times before, but on this picture, instead of arms, they've given him wings of a falcon, and the wings are not even in proportion to the body. I know it's all symbolic of this very ancient god who personified the morning sun, but I did laugh to myself after seeing this beetle-headed falcon man. The scarab beetle pushing along a large ball of dung made the ancients think of a huge celestial beetle rolling the ball of the sun across the sky, and we all know the falcon, symbolic of Horus, was also a solar symbol. But the way the artist has drawn this, well it does look like a hilarious fail. Neheb Kau is another funny looking Egyptian god. This primordial snake with human legs is a funerary god associated with the afterlife one of the 42 assessors of Mat. He is the original snake of Egyptian mythology who protected and fed the deceased pharaoh and helped in judgement of the dead. 
he unites the part of the spirit known as the car with the physical form, whether an animate or inanimate object. He was both ancient and eternal. This all sounds very good, but he is shown to be a snake with human legs and feet, but it does look like a lazy attempt by some artist of old. It's like someone said, this god is a snake, but he's also like our other gods being able to walk, and so the artist drew a snake and then stuck on a pair of legs. In late mythology, he was a companion of the sun god Ra, and, as stated, he attended the deceased king, and his name was also evoked in magical spells for protection against snake bites. He had a festival in the Middle and New Kingdoms, and it was widely celebrated. The three gods mentioned in this video all clearly had important roles in mythology and religion. But to personify a snake god in this way, and the scarab beetle god like this, well to me it was rather amusing, and together with Medjed, a god with a bedsheet over his head, well I found it to be light relief, and I think the artists of ancient Egypt must have had a sense of humour. Have you ever noticed anything in history that made you laugh when it wasn't meant to? If so, please comment below, and I can do a follow up video in the future. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.